Let's check out an Xorg server vulnerability. This is for CVE 2023 1393, which could lead to escalation of local privileges on your system, which would allow root access and then remote code execution, even through SSH connections. So we all know how bad this could be. And this was uncovered by Tread Micro. This is found in the composite window code of the Xorg code. And to understand why it's so bad is if a client explicitly destroys the compositor overlay window, also known as cow, we would leave a dingling pointer to the window in the comp screen structure, which will trigger a use after free later. All that means is you could still potentially use a pointer because it wasn't properly destroyed with escalated privileges. We'll see the fix below, but basically they made sure to clear the comp screen pointer to the cow when the latter gets destroyed explicitly by the client. Thanks to John Nicholas Sean with Trend Micro for spotting this issue, but let's dive into the code to understand why this is a security vulnerability as well as what was done to fix it. But before we do, check out the Underlucky Stars, beautiful star maps that show a unique alignment of stars in a place or time chosen by you. For example, your birthday, your first kiss, your wedding. Check out Underlucky Stars today and get an extra 10% off. They have beautifully created maps in all sorts of different formats and designs. Check out my link in the description below. All right, so a breakdown of this code so we know what we're actually looking for. The file here it was found in is composite window.c under the composite directory. The change was made on line 620 of the original file. And basically what was changed are these three lines here, which is a comment, a check, and a way to destroy a pointer. So basically what we're doing here is we're checking on this line if pwin is the same as the overlay window, which is called CS p overlay and if it is we set the pointer to a null pointer which effectively destroys the pointer so all this code does is check if the destroyed window is the overlay window and updates to make sure that this reference here doesn't reference a destroyed window which could be bad because in that case someone could use that pointer to inject their own code if they know where it exists in memory so you can think of memory as just a block of addresses with some data inside of them so when you point your code to one of the addresses, someone could write code to access this address. They could inject their own data, executing code or malicious content on your computer. That's why when you don't explicitly destroy pointers, it could lead to undesired results, security vulnerabilities where a rogue user could execute malicious code. Overall, pretty simple to understand, pretty simple fix here. It does take skill though to catch these types of problems, especially in large code bases where it goes undetected for years and years. Maybe no one finds this exploitation, but it is possible for people to use it. So it, so I'm grateful, and I hope you are too, that we have all of these wonderful maintainers and developers working on open source, finding these issues and correcting them before they actually become a big deal. Let me know what you think about the Xorg project. Are you using Wayland nowadays? Of course, Wayland has its own issues as it's maturing. It is getting better, however. Do you think problems like this would go away if you used Rust? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. Also, again, remember to, to check out my Under Lucky Stars promo. Catch me in a great community on Discord. Make sure to subscribe below. Hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Don't forget to smash the like button and catch me in a great community on Discord. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.